Hello to all, I am Amrath Singh and today I have with us a very versatile personality who is not just an anchor but a public speaker, a trainer and a personal coach. I welcome Anchor Neha on our today's talk show. Thank you Amraj. To begin with, a successful career is what one relentlessly work for. Once we have achieved it, we don't want to take any other step. Neha, I am surprised, I am curious to know that after having such a successful career in anchoring with 7 years of experience and multiple shows in your name, how did you finally decide to enter into training world? You know, uh, success is a very subjective term, Hamraj. For you, success can be different. For me, success is different. And for anybody sitting out here, success is a very different term altogether. Yeah. I think I was having a very good time in anchoring. I was doing the best shows. I was earning well. But then I wasn't really satisfied with myself. There was something missing all the time. So now the journey started. I actually took a break for one month from anchoring and I traveled. I traveled to different parts of the country and there was just one question that I asked from people. That was my question but I wanted to know from other people as to what they think about this question. The question was, what is your purpose of life? And in layman language I used to just ask them, Aap ji kyu rahe hain? Aapko purpose kya hai jine ka? Is it just money? Is it just work? Is it just your own ambition? Uh, maybe it's just ki kids? What exactly is your purpose? So after traveling for one month, meeting different kind of people from different parts of the world and the only answer that came out from everybody was one common answer that you have to serve. Probably you are here to serve. But how to serve? How do I serve? What do you mean by serving? Then again that question was in my mind all the time and uh, I wasn't really again satisfied with the answer. Then again I went for a little break, a silence program, a meditation program. And I think it almost took uh, nine months for me to get the answer. And the answer was very simple that I have achieved in my life, or I have achieved my talents, my skills mile hai, during this uh, journey of being on stage. I just thought now is the time that I pass it on to other people. I share it with other people. And you know, Hamraj, the answer didn't come naturally. I saw this movie Lucy, wherein uh, the scientist says something really amazing. And that was a striking point for me to begin a new life altogether. And the dialogue was, when he says, you know, if you think about the very nature of life, I mean on the very beginning, the development of the first cell divided into two cells and the sole purpose of life has been to pass on what was learned and there was no higher purpose. So he says it to uh, his client that if you were asking me what to do with all this knowledge that you're accumulating, I would say pass it on. And this is what I decided for myself as well. Whatever knowledge that I have acquired in the last seven years of my career as a public speaker, as an anchor, I thought there are so many people around who wants to become a public speaker. Also, if, if you know about a survey that was done uh, many years ago, wherein uh, it's one of the universities, it was asked, public speaking So 97% said unko public speaking ka zyada dar hai. So why not share something which I already have, which I already, uh, you know, already installed in me through my experience. Nine months, oh wow Neha, and therefore we see a new you. Neha, we all know that formal education can give us job, but success and satisfaction is something we strive for. Youth today don't have clarity of what they want to do in life. I just want to understand how these training sessions will help them get that clarity and shape their life. You know, Hamraj, today the youth of the country, they are full of ideas. All they need is a little direction, all they need is a little channelizing of their energy. They want to become something, but sometimes there is a little peer pressure, there is a pressure of the parents as well. And sometimes they don't have the clarity and like you asked, how will they get the clarity? I will be working on their state, I will not be working on their behavior. They want to become a public speaker, brilliant, they want to become a leader, brilliant. But any behavior that you want to change, the first and the foremost thing is to change the state of the mind, to get them to themselves. That is the reason they need to have an insight of themselves first. Once they have the insight of themselves, they can make a step-by-step -step plan for their future, for their life 
and let me tell you once again it is not just a public speaking training it is not just a leadership training it is much beyond that it is a complete package of life skills wherein each and every skill of their life will get enhanced will get improved and hence they'll get a better shape of their life and of course of their whole journey and therefore you have named the session speak impromptu live impromptu beyond the pattern absolutely neha there are a lot of training programs going on in the market i wanted to understand how is your program different from others can you give us some examples from the past to make us understand that uh, hamraj the first or the foremost thing will be my own experience my experience of being on stage for 7 years right second thing my experience of my own challenges my experience of uh, my failures my experience of sharing the stage with the top companies sharing the stage with the ministers the celebrities that's one thing second thing the most important thing will be the neuro linguistic programming the a touch of nlp in my training programs see at the moment uh, there is a conscious mind which can see me but there is an unconscious mind as well which is listening to me which is which is listening to the other sounds as well which is seeing other sounds as well i will be working on this subconscious mind because i can definitely have activities i can have fillers i can have games processes to make them be on the stage but what happens after 3 days what happen what happens after 10 uh, days i want to make sure that whatever i am installing in them in those 5 days of workshop that remains in them for their whole life and at the same time only thing that i can promise and ensure they will come as an xyz person and they'll go back as a brand new version of themselves so neha i can feel the training sessions are absolutely very interesting and i'm looking forward to attend one very soon neha there are few who are introverts they feel shy to attend workshops and training but if properly guided they can do tremendous how can we guide them how can we help them uh, hamraj uh, you know it's very important to understand the real reason why they are introverts or why they are feeling shy to come out and express themselves so as a counselor it's my responsibility to help them remove their blockages it can be a mental blockage it can be an emotional blockage jiski wajah se wo apne aap ko completely express nahi kar pa rahe hain and the moment these blockages are removed there is more clarity and there is more space inside and hence they would want to come out of their comfort zone and you know even a sportsman need a coach then why not a person for their emotions or for their mind especially if they want to become a leader or if they want to become a public speaker so before we go ahead let's hear out what one of our trainee has to say so my experience with uh, neha nan has been really magical i mean yeah it was nothing short of magic because uh, see i am an introvert all right so it's difficult for me to actually open up to the people especially on stage that's that's really difficult for me but with neha nan it got kind of easy like uh, i remember on our first day i was really hesitant about uh, uh, going ahead and you know performing those activities that she makes us do and uh, by the last day i was a completely transformed a completely different version of me like the sayed that i knew before the classes was different and the sayed that i knew after the classes was different like there was a lot of improvement in confidence and you see like i'm speaking right now i can't speak i i couldn't speak this freely uh, uh before the classes i mean i didn't have that level of confidence in me Yeah, even this short discussion is so thought-provoking. The positive vibes I'm getting from you is tremendous. I'm pretty sure the full-day workshop will be totally transformative. Thanks for talking to us. Wish you all the best.